Hi guys, it's Leah. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make this shirt with your own measurements to fit your own body. It's a really simple design and I hope you enjoy it. So let's get started. You're gonna start by taking your bust measurement. Then you're going to measure from the top of your bodice to where you want it to end. Last, you're gonna measure from the side of your shirt to your underarm to the side seam, and then from that point down. Take your bust measurement, divide that by two, and then add seven inches to that. This includes ease and seam allowance. Then you're gonna take your measurement that you took for the length, and you're going to put that onto the side here, and we're just gonna plot out a rectangle. This is gonna make up our bodice. Now we're gonna plot out the underarm measurements. Mine was about two and a half inches down by five and a quarter inches over. Then we're gonna connect that with a line, making a triangle. You're gonna do this on both sides. This area is gonna be cut out. Now we're gonna create the sleeves. The width of my sleeve is going to be 11 inches long. Now, the wider you make your sleeve, the puffier your sleeve's going to be. The length of this is going to be from the shoulder down your arm. For me, that was about 13 inches. Continue to plot out a rectangle using these measurements. With the same underarm measurements, plot out your arm opening. Cut out two from your bodice pattern. Cut out four of your sleeve pattern. I ended up cutting mine on the fold at the top, so it's just one less seam to sew. Before I started sewing everything together, I overlocked all my edges. This just helps the finishing seams to be nice and neat. If you don't have an overlock machine, that's fine. You can opt to finish them with a zigzag stitch or finish them by folding them over twice. Now that everything's overlocked, I'm going to take the side of my sleeve that is shortest and I'm going to fold it over by a half inch seam allowance. Then I'm going to pin and sew it down. Once that is done, we're going to sew together the two side seams near the underarm area. After you do that, you're going to press open the seam and then we're going to go over to this side and we're going to finish this side in the same way that we did this side, except we're going to leave open two inches to put in some elastic in there. Now we're gonna sew the top of the bodice pieces with a half inch seam allowance. We're also gonna sew the side seams together at this time with a half inch seam allowance. You're gonna take some elastic. This is 1 4th inch elastic. And you just want to measure where you're gonna have your sleeves stop and start. I'm cutting mine at about 12 inches and that gives me room to work around with it. At the same time, you're going to measure how far you want the front of your shirt to be. I kind of like mine to be right where my bra straps are gonna be hid, so I know I can wear a normal bra with mine. So that's about nine inches for me. Using a safety pin, I'm threading my elastic through the bodice casing. And I'll be doing this until I have about a half inch sticking out the end. I've pulled it through and I've sewn down this side over here. 
And now I have it all the way through about a half inch past the edge. Just give it a good tug. And then I'm just gonna come over and take my measuring tape and see if it's about right. And I would say that that is about where I want it. So I'm gonna go finish this edge over here. And then I'm gonna repeat this process on, this, on the back. Now you're gonna do the same exact thing with the arms on this side where the there's the open hole for the shoulder except when you get to the end you can finish one side but don't finish the other side because this will give us the ability to come back and fix the length if we try it on later and we don't like how it's fitting now i've gotten to the end here and i'm not going to sew it down i'm just going to put this pin through the elastic and the fabric and we'll finish that at a later time. Now we have the elastic on both the arms and the front and back of the bodice, and it's time to attach the sleeves to the bodice. We're gonna do this by putting right sides together at the arm openings, and we're going to pin that down matching center seams. So here it is so far. Just trying it on to make sure that I like <clears throat> where it is so far. Now. As you can see, like, it's pretty cute like this, like there's wide sleeves. You could keep it just like this if you wanted, and you could just finish the tops here and be done. But I am not going to do that. I'm going to keep going. Now with these all set to go, we are going to sew the arm hole areas together. The shoulder area is all done, and now what I am going to do is I'm going to add elastic to have a poof sleeve instead of like a wing sleeve, but you could also stop right here and just if you liked the wing sleeve, you could keep that, and you could also just finish the edge and have it be more of a billowy top, but I'm going to add elastic to the end. So let me add elastic here and then we'll finish the end. Apparently I forgot to record adding elastic to the sleeves. So what you're going to do is you're going to measure around your arm. This is the length you're going to cut your elastic. And then you're going to insert it into that opening and sew it together. And then close the opening in your sleeve. Okay, it's getting there you guys. Now I want mine to be elasticized around the waist. But I want it to be folded up like that. So I want mine to sit about here, right about there. And so I'm going to um, make a little casing for that. I've pinned where I want the edge of my shirt to sit. So this would be the edge once it's folded up. <clears throat> now I need to add in seam allowance to this. So first I'm going to use a ruler and see how far it is away from the edge. And I'm just going to do a little mark like this. So it's about three and a half inches from the edge. And I'm gonna just go around the entire perimeter here and mark three and a half inches like this. After I finished doing that line around the edge. I measured about one and a quarter inches down from there. And this is gonna be the seam allowance. And this is also gonna be what I use to encase the elastic. I used the serger to cut off the excess and overlock the raw edge at the same time. I fold up the seam allowance and pin, making sure to leave open a two inch area so that we can insert the elastic. Now I'm measuring my waist so that I'm able to cut the elastic for the bottom seam. 
Using a bobby pin, I've inserted it into the bottom, and now I'm sewing it together and closing the two inch opening. And your DIY shirt is complete. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you next time.